Hi, this is Don McAllister from Screencasts Online. Not a usual show this morning. I'm basically going to run you through the installation process for Creative Kit 2016. Now, as you're probably aware, if you're subscribed to the newsletter, uh, I sent out a special offer a couple of days ago for this new Creative Kit suite of applications from MacFun. Uh, it's basically a whole suite of graphics applications that integrate with the new Photos app. We can use extensions within Photos 1.1 with El Capitan. So it's the morning of the release, October the 15th. I've noticed as well, if you do go across to the website, if you haven't uh, got the order already, or rather if you haven't got the special offer, if you go to screencastonline.com slash macfun, uh, it looks as though they actually haven't taken the offer down today yet. So you might still have 24 hours to uh, get the uh, get the Creative Kit 2016 at the reduced price. And you can also get 10% uh, off as well off this price by using a coupon code SCREENCASTS10. But anyway, the software is now available. I promised I'd go through the installation process. So if I just go across to the Finder, we pop a Finder window open. Um, I've had my notification that the Creative Kit 2016 is available. I've downloaded it. I've also got my uh, original receipt, my uh, delivery information, which contains the code for me to activate the kit. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, on this particular machine, I've got uh, Photos 1.1 installed. This is El Capitan. I've got a couple of the applications already, but I'm going to install the new applications and, if needs be, delete the older ones. So I'm just going to start off by running the Creative Kit app itself. We'll say Continue and Accept. OK, it's going to drop it in a subfolder called Creative Kit 2016. It's a single application for all the apps, so a single installation process. Go ahead and say Install. Uh, we'll download the files and then it will install them. So we'll come back once that's completed. Right, so that's now completed downloading. It's come up with compatible host applications. So although these applications are standalone applications, they do come with plugins that allow you to use Lightroom, uh, Adobe Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, and also Aperture. Now, because I have Aperture installed on this machine, it's prompting me to install my Aperture plugins, but I'm not really going to use Aperture anymore. So I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, you will find that uh, if you have any of these applications installed, you'll probably be prompted to install the plugins automatically. So I'll go ahead and click Install to take me on to the next process. Right, I need to put in my email. So my email was done at screencastonline.com. And then the activation code, which you'll find on the original email that you received. So I'll actually blank the screen off, uh, copy and paste my code in, and then we'll continue. Right, that's my code pasted in. I'll just say activate. And we are successfully activated. Now, this is the third time I've done this. Uh, you can do it on up to five Macs. So I've already installed it on my Mac Pro and my MacBook. This is my MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and start using Creative Kit. Now, you'll notice that it's installed in a separate directory. So we have this directory here, Creative Kit 2016. And these are the six applications, along with an uninstall app as well. Uh, you can run these as separate independent applications. But uh, let's go ahead. I think we need to do another step before Photos will recognize them. But let's just go ahead to Photos. So I'll just run Photos. Right, so this is uh, Mount Everest. If I go to Edit, say I want to denoise this. If I go to Extensions, right, it's remembered my previous extensions from the apps I had before. If you remember, I said I already had some of these apps installed. I'm going to go ahead and say More. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect the old extensions I had. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to say Done to this. I'm actually going to close Photos down as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to the Finder. I'm actually going to delete the previous applications from here as well. So I had Noiseless. Uh, I had Focus 2 Pro. I can get rid of that. Uh, obviously, if you've not had these installed, you won't have to do this. Intensify Pro, I had before. I'll delete that. And Noiseless. I had Noiseless and Noiseless Pro, so I'm going to delete those. And that's probably it. Uh, Snap Heal, I think I've got a new version of that. Let me just check. If I go back to Creative Kit 2016. Yeah, I've got a new version of Snap Heal, so that can go as well.
Okay, so that's now completed. If I go back into photos, now it might be I might need to run these apps for the first time before it registers the extensions. But let me go ahead and say edit photo. Go to extensions, go to more. Yeah, see the extensions haven't been registered yet. So the first thing to do, let me just, uh, we'll say done to this, is go back to the finder. And then all you need to do then is just run each of these applications individually uh, to register the extensions with photos. Now, once you've done that, if I just close this down, uh, I'll not go through that process because I've just paused and done it. If I now go across to, let's see, to photos. And let's pop the window back up. Okay, so I've got a photo of Mount Everest that I perhaps want to reduce the noise in. If I go to edit, go to extensions, go to more. So now I've got plugins for five of those applications. I think we're still waiting on the uh, extension for focus. But if I just select all these, uh, this is really just to show you the, the process. Close that down. Now if I go to extensions, if I now select noiseless creative kit, opens up noiseless in the photos interface. And now I can zoom in and have a look. Uh, let's say I want to make some light adjustments to the noise, you can see a very noisy sky and a nice clear sky here. Perhaps go in, do some further adjustments with the amount of detail and the filters, etc. Uh, bump down the highlights, increase the details, but just play with it. Uh, what I don't intend to do today is to go through all the different uh, plugins and extensions. Uh, I'll actually do that at Screencast Online as part of the regular tutorials we do over there. But this was really just to show you how to install the extensions. So uh, once we've made our changes, we say save changes. And those changes then get written back to the photo within Photos. And there we go, nice clean sky, lots of detail. We'll say done. And now that will be synchronized with my iCloud Photo Library and then sent across to all my other devices. So, uh, as I say, by the time you receive this, the offer might be over. But if you want to try and get it at the last minute price, uh, go to screencastonline.com slash MacFun. Uh, if you have missed the special offer, you can still use that 10% code, though, uh, Screencast10, to get 10% off the standard price. Now, as I mentioned, we will be covering all these extensions in detail as part of our standard coverage of the latest and greatest Mac and iOS applications. So go across to screencastonline.com, sign up for a 14-day free trial, check out some of our tutorials, and these tutorials for the MacFun Creative Kit extensions will be out in a couple of weeks.